Some people believe Atlantis was named after the sea it resides in, for obvious reasons. The Atlantic. The Atlantic got its name in the 6th century BC by Greek poet Atlantica Pelagi calling it the seat of Atlas. And I know it was pronounced right, but hey, I'm not Greek. The Olympians, the, the gods basically hated and feared Atlas. So they devised a special punishment for him. Zeus condemned Atlas to stand at the western edge of the earth. He placed the sky or the heavens on his shoulder and forced him to hold it up for all eternity. There are a number of myths about Atlas. According to Plato, Atlas was the first king of Atlantis, hence why we're putting him in the spell etymology. Some say Atlantis literally means daughter of Atlas. Could Atlas be the mid-Atlantic ridge because it's holding up the heavens? Remember, Atlas stood at the ends of the earth in the extreme west, and that is west of Greece. And also Plato described Atlantis was an island that once sat in front of the mouth of the pillars of Hercules. So you just picture that to the west. So Atlas could be situated along the mid midline of the mid Atlantic Ridge, hence the pictures, and it just could be a mountain in that region. That's one theory. Now, in an old video, uh, I found an island shaped like a Y, and it contained a Plato and Atlantis, and it's just nearly along the, the mid Atlantic Ridge. Here's the video that I've just edited it from, and there's the islands shaped like a Y and I'll zoom in and you can see an Atlantis seamount so they've named an Atlantis there and a Plato so it's just curious that this Y that I've talked about in many many videos and over the years the philosophy of the Y it's crazy isn't it I mean it's not far from the Azores where that is one legend Atlantis was so that's just something to you know put into the uh, <laughs> the pot as they say so let's carry on looking at the word. So Nahalt Alti, known informally as Aztec, is a language or group of languages of the Uto Aztecan language family. Now I'm going to butcher pronunciation, so bear with me. <laughs> Aztlan, or otherwise known as Atlan, is the mythical homeland from which the Aztec, the Mexica, migrated to the Valley of Mexico in the 13th century. This is a mythical homeland of the Aztecs and it's called obviously Atlantis according to the legend they had offended the patron god Hutzilopochtli by cutting down a forbidden tree as a result the Mexica were condemned to leave Aztlan or Aztlan now that is one of the rumors now this is an intriguing symbol this is what you can see on the screen is the Nahalti symbol for water and it has an intriguing circle like an Atlantis and guess its name so I'll give you a few seconds <laughs> Calm down. it is ATL how wild was that so the symbol for water is obviously based on the word Atlan now some say it means place near water Obviously, Atlantis is supposed to be in water or near water, depending on how you look at it. It's also the day in the Aztec calendar associated with the god Axilculti. <laughs> I know I'm murdering it. And here's some of the other symbols for that that you'll come across at the web. So it's intriguing, isn't it, that this symbol is associated with water. Now, some say the Antis part of the Atlantis means copper now there's an intriguing link here that i'm going to read out now now plato wrote that oroculum was a highly valued metal in atlantis 
and an oroculum may have been a noble metal such as platinum but as it was supposed to be mined people have been talking about it now has been identified as pure copper or certain alloys of bronze and obviously what was the description of it being copper as i'm going to read out now so if antis does mean copper you can see the link and why i've put it in now there's another intriguing thing with atl <laughs> i'm not going to read that out now so further intrigue comes from the word atl now have you heard of the the berber people now their flag is what has been displayed at the back now they're in the nomadic tribe and here's at the side you can see a few more of their flags i've been talking about how that flag resembles the squatter man and here is an old photo of a berber lady and now although nomadic like i said <laughs> the berber people come from a certain area in africa across the atlantis that has gripped recent atlantis hunters guess where come on guys yep you got it where well, this is Mauritania, <laughs> the eye of Atlantis or the Reque structure. That is a wow. They came from the same place that people are now associating with what Atlantis is. Whether you believe it or not, that's an intriguing link. Right, guys, I wanted to do my spell etymology of the word Atlantis. And I apologise if a sneeze or a cough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm better than they have been but I've been ill this last week I've not been able to do anything on the video so apologies for that but I do my best so I brought the word Atlantis down obviously ATL is water and ant a -N -T, but obviously we know where ant comes from but also ant does come from the word ent e -N -T, which means giant so you're then left with is is that means to be but this is what's intriguing me is it is connected to the word entity and is a participle of sa which means be and also to exist so that's some strange things and so you're talking about the water giant entity or the water giant that existed so are they telling you in the word that atlantis did exist or does exist and could be an entity or some sort hence the connection to Atlant Atlas which is intriguing and obviously <laughs> from all the, the Friday films that I've watched growing up SA from you Spanish speaking people is a term used to comrade, pal, friend, brother or that or that one so that's an intriguing link with the Spanish language, language also <laughs> So I just had to do that quick breakdown on the word Atlantis just to put it together with what I've mentioned in the video so far and it, it did put up a su surprise about the water giant entity or the existence of the water giant. Could that be talking about a physical giant? Could that be talking about the giant as a, in like a men of renown type of action? The person, the culture, the civilization or the island? Who knows, but I just had to include that for you guys. Right guys, I want to talk about this a little bit more. Not too much in detail, but just to show you why I've showed it in the video. So you can get a bit more <laughs> information on it. Here goes. So what you're seeing on the screen is what is known as the Atlantis Massif. Like a big huge rock. And it is prominent undersea massif if in, in the North Atlantic Ocean. It is of dome shaped region approximately 10 miles across and rising about 14,000 feet so it's pretty big <laughs> and this is on the mid-atlantic ridge i'm not going to show you on the map there obviously they've labeled it the lost city that was an expedition that they did in roughly about 2000 and he found a few intriguing things so you can see on the map you have the mid-atlantic ridge and it's slightly turning into a hook shaped but to the top right where you can see in red that is also known as the atlas mountains so if theory is not it's not far it's not forming like a circular shaped so you have the atlantis in uh, the lost city the atlantis what is fabled as that it's a mid-atlantic ridge and then you have atlas obviously from the naming of the sea but also the mountains to the right so there's an intrigue there and i'll just show you on a on a pick basically where the 
the Atlas Mountains are. So it's intriguing, is it, when you look at this map? And they did a fabled mission in 2000, and they found some intriguing things. So what did they find? Well, as you can see on the screen, this is a cross section of the Atlantis Massif. And at the site of what is labelled as the Lost City, it's a huge vent field. You know, like hydrothermal activity. Now, I've always talked about could they use thermal power to heat and, and energy for a city. And it's strange that the vents at this actual location are quite different than any they've ever, ever, ever seen. That's what intrigued me. Now, some of them are 200, uh, about 200 feet tall. So they range from 90 feet to 200 feet. And some of them are weirdly shaped. This one in particular, sorry about the picture quality. That is the best I've found. Does that look man-made to you? <laughs> because it doesn't look natural. I'm not saying it's not, but this is one of the things found at this site. And to me, it reminds you of the days of, if you ever watched Stingray and things like that, of submarines coming out. Now, this could be one centimetre wide or 200 feet wide. There's no scale. But to me, whatever it is, doesn't look natural. And this is found at the site with the rest of other thermal activity and towers and vents. And it's crazy, isn't it? Because this location is in the mid-Atlantic ridge that I was talking about before. Again, could this be a possible location or depended on the size it wasn't Atlantis according to Fable 230 miles wide or something like that and to me this is a good plausible location for the outer rim considering you look at the map with the Atlas Mountains also and the circle it's just intriguing I thought I had to include it because some of the thermal activity hydrothermal activity with the vents the the chimneys that they call them and they've never seen these structures before and this is found at a location from the expedition Lost City. What's intriguing is one of the uh, submersibles that they used was called Hercules. So it's like they do in these rituals when they find these things. But again, I just wanted to add and see what you guys think of this. Hello. <laughs> so guys, <laughs> don't get me laughing because I'll start coughing. I'm, I want to include a clip from my game. It's, uh, it's Assassin's Creed. Odyssey. Now, in this game, there is a sub, a sub, you know, sub. Um, what, what would you call it? Mission, submission, and it's about the the far, the rise and fall of Atlantis, and you're here to protect it. So it's in the game. And when I was in this mission and I filmed it, I'm going to show you the clip. They talk about Atlantis, and that gave me inspiration for what I want to include. Now it's under fair use. Again, I'm not monetized, and I'm given. The, it's the game is from Ubisoft and I can actually show it there and it's no plug-in <laughs> so you can you can say all you want <laughs> so I want to mention something in a minute after you've seen the clip so I'll come back to you don't go away don't you're not allowed Atlantis impossible I thought it was just a myth there are any secrets in this world that are hidden behind myth and legend. And who are you? My name is Pythagoras. I'm your father. Pythagoras? That doesn't make any sense. He died decades ago. Yes, almost a century if memory serves. And yet, here I am, standing before you. And Icarus is... My oldest and dearest friend. I sent him to watch over you. And now, here you are. I've traveled a long way to meet my real father. You. You were not sent here for a family reunion. There are bigger things at stake. Why was I sent here? What's my role in all of this? I want answers. There is knowledge in this place. Powerful knowledge. In the wrong hands, its secrets could bring about the downfall of humanity. We cannot allow others to discover this place. We must find a way to seal it from the world forever. I don't understand any of this. I'm not a scholar. We all have a purpose, Alexios. Yours was to help me protect the secrets of Atlantis. So you saw the clip. And the bit that intrigued me the most was the talk of it being 
knowledge and it just got me wondering are we looking at this all wrong because just look at everything else how it is found in our body could Atlantis be found in our body could it be found in an area that is associated with knowledge and here it is so I'm going to show you just what I found on that and could Atlantis not be a place a physical place could it be an actual place within us the place where we now have forgot and we are researching to find and that is what has happened they have somehow cut the connection to Atlantis Atlantis could be the library the consciousness whatever you want to call it could that be what it is so coming up now is just what I found and hopefully that will intrigue you <laughs> so <laughs> see what you think right so let's get to it let me show you what I've found <laughs> again I, I always like to say it's not my theory I've just used inspiration and this has came to me we all have these ideas and here goes so it's always bothered me why are they pushing Plato's account why is it because there's got to be something hidden in his account it's not just Plato there's more people who've talked about Atlantis and Plato but why Plato? So Plato's story explicitly locates Atlantis in the Atlantic Ocean beyond the pillars. Now the pillars of Hercules, as you may well be aware, is one half is the Rock of Gibraltar. That's where I was born. <laughs> and I was actually born on the rock. And that's one half of the pillars of Hercules. Now for this little experiment or theory, I need you guys to picture the pillars of Hercules like this. So picture the pillars like this for me guys and you'll understand within seconds. So as you can see on the screen, two pillars, Hercules in the middle. Now in the brain, have a look at this. This is just, I've got this from the interweb and have a look, tell me that does not look like a figure a man a lot of people have talked about this but could it not be Hercules and I'm just gonna put ghosts then pillars back in and then I'm just gonna let it fly in and out so you guys can actually just have a look so tell me what you think and then I'm gonna zoom in a bit closely because remember it says beyond the pillars of Hercules so I'm going beyond Hercules now the ATL from etymology remember meant so many things but obviously mainly water is key to this would it be a wow if we had an ATL beyond those pillars remember memory is also water <laughs> mem water I've talked about it so many times and there you have the right and this is on about the temporal lobes and the left temporal lobes. So we have two. We have a L11. Funny that, isn't it? I just want to put that in there. So isn't that a wow that we have an ATL beyond the pillars of Hercules? What do the ATLs do? Now, I'm no scientist. Don't pretend to be. And I'm only briefly touching the surface here because you could do a full video just on that. But this is just to give you the taste. The anterior temporal lobe, ATL, is thought by many to be critical for semantic memory, our knowledge of objects, people, words, the spells, and facts. Semantic, seaman. <laughs> Not just little seaman, seaman, see at sea. Word. Oh, at sea in the water. Water memory funny that isn't it so as you can see the ATLs are thought to be critical for semantic memory our knowledge objects people words and facts isn't that absolutely wow now remember this picture that I've taken from an old video and I've just basically <laughs> just snapshotted it have a look at the member that I was talking about the star figure the three-pointed star and the Y let me put this image back on screen. Do you not see a three-pointed star or three, three 
sticky out thing and it's like on the head of Hercules you can see it three pointed star and you can see under the feet a Y again is this just coincidence or are they trying to show us something hidden in plain sight remember from Plato's words right we I want to look quickly at this and you'll become evident why so I'm looking at the word plot plot what does plot mean a plan made in a secret by a group of people to do something illegal or harmful and obviously it comes under conspiracies intrigue secret plan scheme stratagem and um, machinations the the main events of a play a novel a film or similar work devised and presented by a writer as an in terror related sequence a small piece of ground marked out for a purpose such as a building or garden a plot a graph showing the relation between two variables and so on and so on secretly make plans to carry out illegal or harmful action so you can see how it's intriguing origin dense crowd secret project plot hmm now the word plot so I want to carry out a plot hmm where have we saw that oh yes plot a plot is an anagram for none other than Plato you got it a plot is an anagram for Plato <laughs> like I was saying hidden in plain sight one ring to rule them all <laughs> why is he talking about Lord of the Rings well in Atlantis according to the folklore and myth law Atlantis is a considering rings of islands and water now so I thought is there any rings in the brain hence is a one ring to rule them all and I've just found this and it's actually just blue any hair that I've had on <laughs> my head still I nearly made me fart you know I've got to talk about fighting lately because if you can fight amongst people they gotta be friends and we need more friends in this world anyway back to this so a new study by the UPF and the University of Oxford reveals the ring of regions orchestrating brain function new research published in a high impact journal shows that there could be one ring to rule them all hence one ring to rule them all there has to be more than one ring and this is in the brain hence why I'm included it so in some way similar to Tolkien's famous poem in the Lord of the Rings the study has identified a ring of regions of the prefrontal cortex which sits at the top of the hierarchical system governing brain dynamics so it's pretty important this allows the brain to manage information the flow of it in the most efficient way needed for both survival and thriving tell me that it just wowed you so when I'm showing you more and more things connected to Atlantis that what the stories say and me showing you could it actually be in us like a lot of things seem to be more and more you go yeah I can see what you're talking about and that's why I've included it now another part to this what you're seeing on the left is the circle of Willis it's basically the arteries and the blood flow from both sides of the brain the both pillars now you need this obviously to get the the flow of blood now yes I've talked about how above it does look like Hercules between the two pillars but look at it now it looks like an ant ant we have an ant in Atlantis Ant-Men now the Hopi talk about these famous people in some of their stories how when they needed them they came out from the caves the caverns below and saved the tribe because it was so smart and had advanced and the ant people and as you can see they dressed to look like the ants now does the circle of Willis see you not look like an ant <laughs> and it's connected to my story on Atlantis see what you guys think I just I'm just wowed by it and it's just really exciting me to just look at something again very different right guys so 
don't adjust your laptops, phones, anything you're, you're viewing on. I've just blurred the screen so you can't see it. I want to keep the suspense a tiny bit longer. I've held a little bit of etymology back until now because then with what you just saw about the ant people or the Atlantis, could they be one in the same? I've held it back and you'll understand why now. So obviously I've just showed you the circle of Willis and said, how oh, doesn't that look like an ant? And obviously it's in the brain and Atlantis and all that. So I'll unblur it now and look at the entomology. So this is what's got me excited and I wanted to hold back from you guys. So anti on the left and ant because they're both the same. Word forming element of the Greek origin meaning against, opposed to, opposite or instead. Could that be something in regard to a race, a civilization? Is it like what's on the other side, antediluvian, before the flood? Is the people of Atlantis, the ant men, are they antediluvian before the flood? Because they're in other caves or chambers. Who knows? So, word forming element basically means against, opposed, and basically shortened to ant. Anti was shortened to ant before the vowels. So the vowel L's have a lot of uh, to do with it. <laughs> so from the old French, anti, from direct, from Latin, anti, from Greek, anti, meaning prep, over, against, opposite, instead, in the place of, as good as, at the price of, for the sake of, compared with, in, in opposition to, in return, counter. From pi, anti, against, also in front of, or before. From root, ant, this is what got me. And means front, but also forehead. What am I talking about? Could the Atlantis be in the head? And the ant men means forehead, but also say, say it quickly forehead, foreheads. Who do we know has four heads in the olden days? Yes, Ianos, Janos, and obviously, giant. He was a giant. Gian is a derivative of it. Take the T, remember? The past tense. You add that to it, it's giant. So it just blows me away. And there we go. We have ant people, the four-headed people. Now, could that be because they've got a lot of brains? Or did they have four heads? Or is it just showing you that Atlantis, the ant men, from another chamber? I'm just I'm just really excited. So you can just see it. So obviously, anti, turn to the right. Ant. Proto-Indo-European root meaning front, forehead, which were with derivatives meaning in front of or before and also C and B. And in forms of all parts of, for instance, other words, advance, advantage, along, ancestors, ancient, answer, anteus, anti, you had antediluvian, wow. I mean, even at the bottom you had a <laughs> vamp, vambrace, vamp, vanguard and we know what vanguard is so this is just blew me away so f just from showing you about this the hopey talking about the ant people coming to save them the four-headed people came and saved them were they from atlantis from in another chamber or are they talking about enlightenment the ant people saved them because they reach a certain point of zen or whatever you want to call it and they connected to the ancient pre Antediluvian, basically, I've called it uh, the catchy or the Kesic records. I've talked about it, atmospheric memory. They've they've connected to the water memory, Atlantis. I'll just leave that up to you guys because <laughs> it's blown my mind. Since recorded history, talk of advanced races coming from out of the water to aid humanity has always got me thinking is that a good thing <laughs> now add to this talk of USOs UFOs could all these events be tied to Atlantis or an advanced race so coming up is clips from an old video basically talking about this I've not put it all in so hopefully you'll enjoy
saw the most incredible thing that I think I've ever seen in my life. Uh, and, it, and it had such a profound effect upon my view of the universe and the world that we live in um, that I wish everybody could experience this. I saw come up out of the ocean, from beneath the surface of the sea, a huge disc-shaped craft about the size of a midway class aircraft carrier, which is tremendous in size came up out of the ocean and rose into the air and tumbled on its axis and went up into the clouds and I was awestruck, dumbstruck and uh, I mean dumbstruck, literally I could not utter a sound uh, and my first uh, impulse was to tell the officer of the deck that I'd seen a flying saucer and then luckily for me I couldn't talk so I told the officer of the deck that I'd seen something about 15 degrees off the port bow at a relative distance of about two and a half nautical miles and uh, um, he began to look in that area and the starboard lookout had heard me tell him this and he began to look over there um, and it did something that that as far as I knew was absolutely impossible I'd been in the Air Force I'd worked on the state-of-the-art of our of our uh, aviation capabilities and here I was on the deck of a submarine in the conning tower and I knew what we had to be able to have to go underwater and I knew that the two were incompatible here's something that came from under the water and flew in the air and performed maneuvers and then came back down and interfaced with the water at tremendous speed uh, and remained intact uh, which realistically it, it, it never touched the water the water sort of magically opened up in front of it but something had to interface with that water Anything that we had that interfaced with the water in that manner would have been disintegrated. It's like hitting a brick wall. So I was looking at a technology that as far as our laws of physics and what we knew at that time didn't exist. This was in 1966. But when we reached Pearl Harbor, we were not allowed to go ashore to, um, to uh, go on liberty, even though we didn't have the duty. And about two hours after we berthed uh, at the submarine base, a commander from the Office of Naval Intelligence came on board and uh, debriefed each one of us individually in the captain's stateroom. And the, uh, the ultimate outcome of the debriefing was that uh, we didn't see anything, we didn't hear anything, and we had to read rules and regulations uh, that told us that if we ever talked about what it was that we didn't see, um, that we could uh, be imprisoned, uh, we could be fined uh, $10,000, we could lose all pay and allowances due or ever to become due. And I learned at that moment that the United States Navy didn't want anybody to know um, about what we saw. And that uh, severe consequences could come down around the neck of anybody who did. That's an account from Bill Cooper author of Behold a Pale Horse, when he witnessed a UFO or USO while in the Navy coming from out of the water. We've all been indoctrinated to believe UFOs are from outer space. What if that outer space is just the water the deep oceans. We associate UFOs with the word extraterrestrial. Could that just mean more land, etc? Well, not long ago I broke that word down in a video, and here's that video. So extraterrestrial, obviously you saw the description and meaning that they've stated is extraterrestrial i've just briefly talked about what other people in the community believe extraterrestrial means more land and here's what i've got to say and when i show you my breakdown you should go wild because it emphasizes on what people already believe and it's in the spells it's in the spelling 
so let's crack on so let's start with how we've broke it down ex x a lot of people have had them but the meaning of x is out of or one that held a specified position or place so that's talking about a place or something if you if you change it from a person to a place or a land it talks about this very thing is held in a specific place wow <laughs> wow so you're talking about extra land and we're talking about x means a, a specified position or place on said map and remember all maps are spam they're all political they're all religious and they all have an agenda i showed you this a long time ago maps is an anagram for spam so you don't ex now let's go to tra so obviously extra i've just split extra up and tra means now here we go amid or in the middle of or amongst so i've just done a video on mount maru that is supposed to be in the middle and also it's supposed to be amongst so when people believe in terra infinita or infinite they are basically saying we're amongst many many other lands well extra means a specified place amongst all this voila <laughs> it's telling you straight there isn't that a wow and what's i find interesting is i broke it down a few different ways to get two different meanings but come to the same conclusion so we've done e x T R A extra but split it in two. We now left with terra. Terra means land or earth, and that also meaning dry. So dry land or earth. But also, if you shorten it, T E R means three times. Well, when you look at images for Atlantis, you always see it seem it has three rings, three islands, or three canals, and then also you have the Trinity, three faces. So that's intriguing isn't it and then if you look more into the etymology trm tra also means across or beyond so we're talking about a specific specified i can't say that word position or place or land amidst the middle or amongst or across and beyond that is what extra extra and then tr means at the minute so extra land hidden amongst or held in position isn't that wow um just blew me away so obviously you got that and then the rest depending on how you split it up means to remain to stand so it all is basically showing you what's going on what the people's theory of more land whether it's over the ice wall or not is hidden within the words of extraterrestrial so let's go to S-T-R-I in extraterrestrial, terrestri, it means to spread, to show, or to stew, and to cover. Hmm, and when I read that bit, it just got me thinking. It got me thinking, and obviously A-L, it means something godly or divine. And that's why I was talking about Elites or Elshites before, because the etymology of Elshites or Elites, as I call it, you know, the other way around. El is something godly or divine, and Ites means followers of. So could these people in these ships be classed as Elites, Elites, because they came from this other land? Now, a theory that I've had that you would have seen in a few videos, I've talked about it many times, but also it's not my original theory a lot of people have thought about this well what if the extraterrestrial weren't coming from extra land outside of our own but coming from inside and under the water that to me makes even more sense especially when I i've just read out the etymology we saw films like the abyss you saw films like aquaman you saw things like wakanda forever there used to be uh, an old program in the 80s and 90s called Sequest DSV, which was basically submersible vehicles. And it just got me thinking, like the Abyss and like William Cooper's book, you know, Beyond the Pale Horse, where he talks about being in intelligence and seeing vehicles coming out of, in and out of the water. Why did he protect certain locations on the earth? Why is the oceans not being investigated? 
is it because there is uh, a race or in intelligence living under the water on the old land now think about it when it was is it pangea where it was all one land and these people i call them by another name precursors people will call them is it adamites or something like that but pre-curse before the curse now one of the original curses i believe was the great flood which has been documented in a lot of religions now if we lived on a pangea and a great flood happened and it, a lot of things were wiped out a lot of this land would have been put under water hence why you do get a lot of submersible vehicles coming out of the water people have talked about this and why they're not been investigating this land so look at the etymology x out of a specific specified <laughs> i can't say it place or position meaning land there's the tr a mid in the middle or amongst or across or beyond tr three times meaning three lands three islands three rings but also terra meaning land or earth and that word dry and rest remain to stand and to spread to stew to cover so could it be talking about these extraterrestrials are from land that they lived on pre-curse it was land the great flood happened and all this realm got submerged and they withdrew to the seas or had no choice think about it all these old religions talking about gods coming out of the water to teach them to teach them tech you've only got to look at one aspect of yalos being oans or dagon coming out from the sea and being you know like a, a lucifer type of figure or a light bringer or a prometheus type of figure showing them technology and that was what oans was originally labeled as coming out of the water to show people you had all videos of saga sg1 remember the episode when daniel gets tucked beneath the water they think he's dead and oans or janos basically he's trying to read his mind to find his lost love so it's all been shown to us whether you believe it is is up to you guys and how you interpret the information when i interpret this information it's steering me to the land beyond but below not beyond but below the seas and these are the ancient sea people it's just you know just gets you to think <laughs> so if you like my explanation of extraterrestrial being not from over the the ice caps or the outer rim but but from below there could be both who knows but i'm just theorizing could extraterrestrial be about all this land hidden below the seas before the precursors before the original curse so if you want to watch more of this video please just go to the channel the black sheep researcher that's my main channel now and scroll down i will actually show you the video that is actually from it's actually called something in the water you saw the intro and the basic a little bit of it there's loads in it there's talk of in the 16th century what look like usos submersible objects coming into the pot of genoa and being fired at by cannon so there's loads in it and i just want to show you it's just about the nine months ago i made it and got 12k views so it did okay so if you want to watch the rest of it there's loads in that that's where the video that you've just seen the clip from is coming from so <laughs> please take a look if it if it's peach your interest now i want to go to my thoughts now <laughs> and let's see what we come up with yeah they call me the black sheep you know they call me Hello and welcome to the Black Sheep Researcher, <laughs> home of me, Paul, and you, the Flockers. <laughs> so guys, again, I want to thank everyone. I know it seems like I've been away for a while. I've actually been making, well, I've made two guest appearances on two shows. So if you've not saw that, please go to the community section. You'll see the links in there. One was on the Ben's channel, Archivist with Analog, and the other was on The Occult Rejects really two good shows and if you want to watch it <laughs> please do 
subscribe the guys tell them where you came from give them some love because we you know there's not enough positivity and love amongst youtube and content creators so big up those guys and thank you for having me on <clears throat> so guys like always i want to thank anyone who has bought me a coffee it really does help me in the channel <laughs> in these times these hard times I, do, I really do appreciate it. it makes me emotional and it you know you show me you know how much you care about me in the channel and it is it does it gets me emotional so i want to thank you for anyone that's done that the link will be in the description as always and let's crack on with the video so i wanted to create a, di a video different than what people were expecting i didn't want you to guys come on and here's paul and he's going to tell us what atlantis is i wanted to briefly show what pe a few people have talked about and just go with the information sh showed me and when you watch my stuff you, you do you know i've made it basically you know what i mean it's my style and it's just totally different to what is out there and that's just who we am so i want to appreciate it i want to apologize if you can't hear me too much i'm still unwell i'm getting better but you know <laughs> I've I've had the cough, the runny nose, it's a lot the season for it, and so it's been hard to to create any content because of that. Obviously, I'm not having me snurching and different things on the video. It's it's not good to hear. So thank you for putting up with not much content. But like again, you've always got this channel, and you've also got the Thinking Man channel, the second channel. So please check that out also. So what always intrigued me about Atlantis is we, we, grew, we grew up with it from an early age. Why do mainstream schools teach Atlantis, talk about Atlantis, if it didn't exist? Is it like I was talking in the video of a, a cautionary tale? Impl implementing the indoctrination, saying, listen, if you step out of line, if you become too big for your boots, look at what happened to Atlantis. They can... They got destroyed and sank beneath the oceans. And then you look different things of different cultures talking about different cities under the water and different things. You're like, <clears throat> what is going on? Is Atlantis real? Some will believe it's real, some believe it's not. So I wanted to put in another theory in regards to is Atlantis here? Is it basically the connection, the the water memory? to you know like a catchy records on an atmospheric memory that there is somewhere else that once the crystals inside oscillate at a certain frequency in cymatics the brain fluid would get gain you know like a cymatic type of pattern in your skull you know with the fluid and your brain and that and the gateway is it all tied to that so that's why i put that little stuff in just to show hey you know what I've broken the etymology down is the things from that found in the brain and the woods so that I will be talking about that too so what always gets me and there's some always good content out there and the thing he was talking about the other day another friend of the channel Esotoic Knights of Malta and Roberto was talking about it in his video strangely enough about Atlantis and I've been making this for a few weeks so it was always good to watch a different perspective and in, in his video he was just talking about how people are only shown really that Plato, Plato's evidence for uh, Atlantis and how he got it from so long but there's other people that's been talking it for far longer or just as long why is that not teached? why is it the agenda of Plato's evidence and that's really it? And obviously I was working on working on this and I couldn't say too much. <laughs> <coughs> I don't know. Us us humans are fragile. So that's what intrigued me. So that's why I put that section in. Why Plato? And then I found it. I know why they're using Plato because it's a plot <laughs> a plot it's a plot not a trap <laughs> it's a plot a secret plan and when people are doing secret 
plans you have to put it into schools at an early age and you know it's always been talked about but what blew me away is a plot is an anagram for plato you also do have alt the water but could that could it just be that basic that they hid in a name plato a plot and his plan on getting atlantis and were they basically creating this ethos this myth this folklore through plato and giving false narrative a uh, his story to push people away or hide so you know there's all ways of, of looking at it but that just blew me away you know because like again now i know why they use plato because it's a plot hidden in the spell Tell me that didn't blow you away. It blew me. It's just so basic. Like, damn. <laughs> Plato anagram is a plot. A secret plan. That just got me really buzzing f for seeing what you guys thought of this. But it does make sense. So use a figurehead. And make it out that. Oh, it's not. It's not real. It's, it's just. It's a tale. It's, it's poems and. Then people automatically, because we're intu intuitive, we're intrigued by things. So when someone says, don't go over there, don't read that, that's not really a place, that's a cautionary tale. We go, well, what if they're hiding something in that? So it gains legs, it gains ground. And could it, again, just be a, a cautionary tale? Don't you guys get too enlightened? You fall, fault, you know, you fall on your face, and the gods will smite you down. Possibly, I don't know. <laughs> these are what these videos. These videos are just for me getting thoughts out. So when I find Plato means, from my perspective, obviously a plot and a main a secret plan. What are they trying to put into place? Are they trying to hide a secret knowledge? So when you then look at Atlantis and some people say it's in the Atlantic and Atlas was the first king of Atlantis and it talks about Plato talks about how it's from the very very west so past the through the Straits of Gibraltar that's the first clue through the Straits of Gibraltar facing the Straits of Gibraltar now you what you got to think about is in them days north didn't mean up you know what i mean you had east in the center you had south in the center so these maps the spam you have to watch what we're doing because obviously jerusalem was the center of the world it was that further on in time you know what i mean the compass only came in in the 12th or 13th century i've showed you in all videos that north is a man-made construct it was basically at the time east and west and they just you know they did the uh circum circumulation of the, the the realm through the stars and different things and we talk about there's an advanced race so you know everything is up for debate i i know jack i'm not pretending to know anything i'm just intrigued by a tale that we're all told from school were you told in school that's where i first came across it i'm like well why are they talking about this in history if it's fake hmm now we know it's a, it's a plot, it's, you know, to hide, it's to plant seeds. So, that talks of Atlas being to the the west, the furthest west, and that's where he's holding up the heavens. Well, as you know, I believe from the information that I've showed you in the last couple of videos, that we're in a chamber or in a cave. A cave within a cave within a cave. So if he's holding up the celestial bodies, the dead bodies... Could that be the Mid-Atlantic Ridge? Because obviously, if there's a, a pre-flood that a lot of people agree on, and that was flooded, so that is now underwater, there would have been 15,000 high mountains. So quite high. And also you do have the Atlas Mountains in North Africa. So you would have had a, like a, a, a ring. And you have the Y and different things, and Atlantis Seamount. And obviously you have the see uh, the atlas and uh, the rickey structure known as the eye of atlantis now 
and some people think it's a fish eye and monster's eye and so on and so on because we all follow channels and when you put they put information out that intrigues you you then adopt that as your truth we should just you know don't adopt anything but use it use it you know what i mean not say oh well i'm going this and any other theory i'm not going along with because they've said that there is a lot of compelling information out there on everything because not long ago they did a lidar scan of the eye of atlantis and i think they only found one structure uh in it that i could see you know what I mean? So if there's only one structure on it, was the rest, and it was like a sheet pen, but a quite a big one. So you know, did it get washed away? But you know how good lidar is. So is the eye of Atlantis connected to Atlantis? Because obviously, when we're talking about the other famous tale from the West, obviously the Aztecs, they talk about how they come from Az Aztlan which was in the east <laughs> yeah northeast and that's where they came from so you can see that they're both saying one saying the east one saying the west so it's basically from that location in the middle they came from there and that got me is obviously in the word atlas but also Aslan. and atl is basically a water god and it means water or place near water so that's int really intriguing when you start to think of is it the same place it's very similar in pronunciation and naming so there we go that is a possible location and if that ridge which the lost expedition lost city expedition was and they found 200 feet 90 feet to 100 two three four hundred feet tall ch ch basically towers for venting thermal water out of and gases does that get you thinking is is there something buried there beneath that and they're using thermal power and there are those events to get the gases away you just don't know it's intriguing and the connection is the atl for water the symbol is also used by the berber people who came from that location where the eye of atlantis is in maritania or something like that and as a lot of you guys know, uh, the guys from Top Gear, now the Grand Tour, did a little episode where they drove through that area. And now that has been pushed worldwide as being Atlantis. You can see why. Because of the rings. But again, you're going off Plato's account. Is it real? Is it a plot? Is it misdirection? Is it just lies? Is it made up? All the world is a stage and again we're merely players so <clears throat> when we're then talking about this you have to then think about well all right so the Aztecs said they came from Aslan the Atlantis Atlas is in that location possibly through the Straits of Gibraltar people think the Atlantis is the eye of Sahara the Sahara eye you saw it on maps appear in the Atlantic. You have to ask, is it real? Like life, will we ever know? That's the intriguing thing. And like this video, it's just me delving in, looking at that. So you have all these different people talking about over the years, it's been in the Azores, it's been Santorini, it is the Binami Road in the Caribbean. You're getting all these places it's been tagged as being Atlantis now I was always told it was like a colony and then when you look at the description some say it's over 200 miles wide a lost continent remember years ago five years ago uh, the mainstream media said there was a lost continent being found under Europe I forgot what that was called now I did cover it on the channel a long time ago on the old channel <coughs> so it's just intriguing we just don't know what's going on and now that i'm going into this hollow earth but not your typical hollow earth cave within a cave within a cave could atlantis be a cave but they're more advanced 
or is it under the oceans? And that's why I wanted to put in the other video, something's in the water, to give you a flavour. Because people have always talked about UFOs or USOs coming out of the water. In the video, that the full video, not what I put in the clip, I was talking about how, through Greg, a friend of the channel, he was saying that in history, you, you underwater submersibles, so, you know, USOs, whatever, came and were getting fixed in the port of Genoa and the Gen Genoese were bombarding them with cannons. People were kill, getting killed because they were panicking and trampling over each other. And that happened across Europe in the medieval times. Were these people in these submersibles? Was it just a lie? Did it happen? Are they an advanced race come from the water? History's told you about Dagon lands and different things. So all these different gods the seven sages, again, who were in the original video and not this one, coming out and teaching mankind because they weren't clever enough. Some say they teach hum humanity to do stuff for their own, but another tale says because we were that stupid, they had to teach us so that we could give them basically food, um, which is, you know, again, another tale on this story. So then when you have that, those things happening, from the the Atlantis could they be from the Atlantis could they be coming from Atlantis the the seamen the sea peoples these gods because they taught humanity you have the ant people from the Hopi again coming from a cave coming from a chamber helping them people out and that's why I wanted to talk about is it like anything that we see in humans all this history you can just basically put it and then imprint it onto your own body you know from the the vertebrae and everything and it's like wow could it just be that so that's why i looked at atlantis i saw the you know the anatomy picture and i said oh, wow doesn't that man that stands on it you know the the, the man figure in in the brain doesn't that look like hercules and it, the two pillars, the two hemispheres. And so I thought, wow, is Atlantis within us? Is it a specific place that taught us? You know what I mean? You In ancient times and in certain times, different people have talked about the bicameral mind, the voice from God. Is that our consciousness? Is that the voice that we talk to ourselves? Or is it a place that can only be activated through enlightenment, meditation, science, the water memory. It's an intriguing thing. So, when we're talking about that and the ant people, that's why I, I end, end up showing that's underneath that Hercules figure. It's a circle of Willis. I'm like, wow, <laughs> now it looks like a, an ant man. And then you have the Hopi dressing like the ant men and their antennas. There's that old... Uh, hieroglyph of Egyptian hieroglyph of ant, ant men are these ant men from Atlantis because it makes you think doesn't it because when you basically break it down the etymology was ALT alt water we have an alt on the, on the keyboard <laughs> uh, and then you had ants which can, can become ants which is giant and then is it was tied also to entities and it just, I was just like, wow. And obviously further on, I kept that uh, etymology of ant back that was talking about the forehead, the, the forefront. And that absolutely blew me away because obviously I've been teaching about Janos and researching Janos for a very long time. And he one of his epitaphs is Oans, who taught humans who was a fish man, a sea man, like the semantic memory. And it talks about ant being forehead, forehead. So you, you then had the pillars, you then had the ant man, and then you had the one ring, which <laughs> that blew me away, the brain ring in the pre prefrontal cortex, the one ring to rule them all. All this is tied to information gathering and also knowledge. Just 
gets you so intrigued in it. and that's why I, I do what I do because I just want to think things different I want to go over what people have talked about and see what I see in that so what I'm showing you Atlantis could be a very, very real place or could it be spiritual I um, can only access it through here and is it through the pineal is it through something else that we don't even know because so much of the brain is not being mapped you know what I mean? So it's uncharted land. <laughs> and then you you have all this. So could the place be water, be actually in here? And the water is, a, you know, the, the cerebral, cerebral fluid. <laughs> it, <laughs> it just makes you think, doesn't it? And I, again, I won't like to say, as I always say, that's just what I want to do. I just want to think. I want to think, hmm, why, why is this being pushed? Why is no one else talking about this? Again, it's that intuitive nature. So when you do a video on Atlantis, was it real? Again, how many times has uh, mythical islands been on maps? <laughs> to be said, no, no, it doesn't exist. And then you get, oh, is it? Is it been swollen by the water? Has it, has it got a cloaking device? Or is it talking about our brain on brain fog? And certain places... We can only visit here. Is it somewhere that we got? We used to go at night, at night when we sleep, when we die. Remember, every day is a new day, but it's also sun die, Sunday, mun die. So we go to rest at night. We're dying, and we're getting rebirth, we're reborn every day into these vessels. The and you know we only got here because of the semen. And it talks about semantic memory being attached to um, the ATL. So it was like, wow. So we have a, a Hercules pillar, the pillars, the hemispheres. We go through that and we have an ATL, an anterior temporal lobe. And that obviously is ta attached to semantic memory, knowledge, f facts and, and things like that. So it's, could that ATL just have been used for Atlantis? And that is just why <laughs> I love doing what I'm doing. Because when we're looking at an old tale like Atlantis, is it real? It could be very, very real. It could be hidden. It could be under the water. And that's why I put that little extra from that other video, something in the water. Because as I was saying in the video, all this information, is it a, ha is it a lie? Is that why they keep it stored in a lie, Berry? Because it's all lies. Is it not just another script <laughs> that we're all going by and we're all playing out just his story? I will leave that up to you guys. What do you do? You actually think Atlantis is a real place? Could it be again in tune with our bodies? The kingdom of heaven is within, as people say. I just don't know. I'm just intrigued. Again, something I've been interested in for a very, very long time pre internet. <laughs> The Atlantis, I'm that old, and it's been embedded. And I've watched so many series over the years talking about mermen, aquamen, 20,000 leagues under the sea, hollow earth, in you know, 20,000 leagues, all this center of the earth. It seems to be that you know, space is not what we believe to be. Could it be the space? in the water or around us in the cave like NASA is tied to Kavir the cave I don't know uh, I, I just love doing what I do when I can do it and I need your help to you know steer me in direct directions your comments are essential YouTube uh, restricting how many I can see but I do try and answer what I can but I'm busy because obviously what I do looking after my mum it just makes it nine impossible but I want to get out there I want to get another opinion I want to go on shows and listen guys how, how many times I turn on and they talk one hell of a bollocks this is a fact this is the truth anyone else that questions this a gatekeepers and chills no it's information it's a sea and if you don't sail to certain places you never know what is over there and 
we're doing it to ourselves. We're telling each other, no, no, if you can't look at that information because it's come from that source. Don't tell anyone not to watch it. And there's people who I detest on here, but it's not my place. I'm not the police. <laughs> the bullies. I'm not here to tell you who you can't watch and who don't. It's a free, you're there to go and look at anything. You know what I mean? And that's it. Well, my information, just take it as a pinch of salt. Go and research yourself. Give it give it you inspiration like you've given me inspiration. Because that's why we're in unique. We're on our own ship. And, you know, you can have visitors, but mainly it's just you. You're the captain. <clears throat> and when we're looking at old tales like Atlantis, and we all dream of a hidden lands. We see old, basically archived books, newspaper articles saying it's this. This is just information. This is to give you the juice flowing. Why? Why is? Why do you have to dig really, really deep to go, get past Plato? Because they want to control the information. It's a plot. It's a plot, <laughs> and that's what Plato means anagrammed. So in this video, I just want to recap now. I just wanted to look at it a little bit different. Talk about the etymology. Talk about how the Aztecs said they came from somewhere in the west and in the east. <laughs> and how the Greeks say Atlas was holding up the mountains in the east or the west. <laughs> it's because I'm reverse on the camera. Are they talking about the same place? You then got places like High Brazil and so many of all these other mythical islands and mythical places. Even in Tibet, in the Himalayas, you have High Body, or is it High Body? That one in the Arctic. Come, Ambala, something like that. Shambhala. You know, so you have Shambhala, you have Boria, all these different places connected and talk about how you can get to it going through the caves. And that's why I, I moved to semi hollow earth in the sense of I believe it's cave within caves because could Atlantis just be from another cave extraterrestrials more land where is this more land do you believe in the ice ring I showed the etymology of that from the old video so I'm here to just look at information that's been out there and just think whoa let me put my spin on it let's see what I can find and this is what this basic was a short fella video that turned out more intriguing than that because I'm looking at is Atlantis not a physical place but a spiritual place or even inside here but then you have to think of how do you access that is all these cursing towers that I talk about part of the agenda to stop you from oscillating at certain frequencies to get to these places it seems to me all you know hand in hand so let's see what you guys think. See what do you do you actually think it's a physical place? Do you think it's in your head? Is it something I've not mentioned? Again, this video is not me categorically going it's this, this and this and showing you all the theories. No, this is just me doing my flavour, my idea out in, in a video that I believe you guys will enjoy. Showing you a different perspective from just saying Atlantis is the eye, Atlantis is that island there, you know. I want to briefly talk about what the main theories are and then talk about something I, I came to by watching playing that old game where that had a submission in Atlantis and to get to that you had to go underneath a village city again in caves and caves and caves and then it was underwater and you have to do it basically in the mission you have to get some orbs to up, act as a key to get through that water that you saw in it but uh, Pi Pith I always say Pythagoras, but it's Pith Pythagoras or Pythagoras from the Pythia. Um, you know the 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 oracles. That's something else that's in the game. So basically, he was talking about a bit of knowledge, and that got me. Wow, I've already seen knowledge in the etymology of certain things. I'm like, wow. So could it actually be in your brain? You do have an Ant Man. You do have Hercules. You do have the water. You do have the islands, you do have the rings. You know, is it a place we can only get to and it's been lost, the, the connection's been severed? Or was it a physical place that all these ancient gods, these Elites, came from?
who knows but i'll leave it up to you good guys so hopefully you've enjoyed this i've got a few things in motion uh be doing a show hopefully this week with Ryder um and also something come up soon with Ryder and some someone else that I've maybe have told people a few people about and they have to get that sorted out so hopefully I'm gonna do a bit more for you guys um because I miss the interaction that we have I'm hopefully gonna premiere this hopefully <laughs> it passes the inspection that I can do that and I'll see you guys in the chat remember stay safe always wear a smile let a good fat out I want to get people fatting again <laughs> <laughs> because you can only you fight amongst friends we need more friends we need to have a laugh we need to stop taking life too seriously because life's hard enough as it is right guys stay safe always want to smile and get the fuck out of here